What's going on, Pickles? We are here at Jasmine's doctor's appointment. She got Santa behind her. Look, Santa Claus. We got some stuff here. Waiting on the doctor to call us in. Just a checkup routine. All the people are coming back from lunch right now, so it's probably going to be a minute or two before we get called back. There you go. There you go. We're going to go get some pizza and smoothies after this. Pizza and smoothies, pizza and smoothies. And um, Nick has cleaned the house. Everything looks good. Um, Jasmine's just running around there waiting to get checked up on, make sure she doesn't have any issues or bad stuff. Thank you, good sir. Here, baby, why don't you sit down? You gonna order some tea delicious drinks? Mm -hmm. Waiting on our drinks. Got three. Buy two, get one free. Cause I had a voucher. <laughs> They're calling us. Well, it's just two of them. Mm -hmm. Daddy's gonna get the drinks. Uh, we just went to the doctor's office for Jasmine, and we found out that she's behind on her speech, unfortunately. So we gotta up her speech therapy. <laughs> you hate getting gun parts because you want more gun parts after? Shocker. No, I'm talking about batteries. I need batteries. Oh, well, Jasmine's enjoying her tea licious back there. We got our tea licious. Um, it was the voucher where you buy tea licious 10 times, you get the 11th free. And I got that voucher when I didn't have a daughter, when I didn't know Nick. So it's funny that it's finally gotten done. And instead of me getting two drinks, like I was able to bless my daughter with a drink. Um, however, the doctor at the office said she is slow on her speech she should be doing three to four word sentences whereas she's only doing one to two word sentences i honestly think jasmine's just being verbally efficient um why would you say i need a water when you could just say water so i don't really think she's behind i just think she's being smart with it but we are going to take um the next month to really grind in some learning tactics we're going to set her up with some online learning stuff um that was recommended to me by a neighbor and we're going to do some hardcore uh drilling stuff into her head um ASMR style so if anybody's watching this and your child had a speech delay how did that go and um, how did they continue developing and are they good now whatever whatever we are going to get some pizza right now um, we got a 10% off coupon so we're going to garlic gyms I used to work for this place but it was a it was a sister place garlic gyms brought the pizzas to pump it up and I worked to pump it up the uh, place Oh, look, they're hiring, Nick. I'm yeah. just kidding. And we also just applied for health insurance for next year. Um, and I paid the first fee or whatever, so I'm just waiting for us to get the the, the uh, cards and stuff. The information should start on January 1st. So now Jasmine and Nick are covered, and then hopefully I can add the twins to the plan. <laughs> you like your treat from the doctor? Well, well, because you went to the doctor? She is wearing it out. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going inside without my tablet or my drink. We just ordered two hand-tossed pizzas from Garlic Gems. I know personally this pizza is good. I've had like a hundred of these pizzas. And, uh, okay, girl. It's kind of chilly outside. You ready to go home? We got eight to 10 minutes to wait. Uh, maybe if you got your hands out of your mouth, you wouldn't be coughing. Bye. You enjoying your drink? Is it good? Mmm. Mm. You ready for the pizza? We're gonna have pizza and smoothies today because you're such a good girl. Say thank you. Somebody just sprinted it, grabbed all the chips, and left. <laughs> Hi. Well, Pickles. Pickles, we secured the pizza, and we're getting in the U-turn so we can get home. And um, 
Jasmine really wants a slice of pizza now, but first of all, they're too hot, and second of all, she's had a whole smoothie, but she's still begging for stuff, so that's making me laugh. Um, but Nick and I are excited to get home, put our uh, smoothies in the uh, fridge or freezer or whatever, and dip into this pizza. It's very exciting. This is the one I'm, we spent $30 plus 12 plus 150 so we spent $200 today, one outing. Okay, Jasmine, I can't record with you crying like that, so stop it. Anyways, hope you pickles are having a great day. I'll catch y'all on the flip. Kitchen could use a little love. Jasmine went and spilled salt all over the table. You can hear her. Um, trash is kind of full. But... I am heating up my pizza slices. Feeling a little bit better. I am um, definitely showing more. I'm gonna grab my plate from the kitchen. Yeah, I'm definitely showing more in my lower tummy region. We light up the tree every night now. We got all these gifts still to open because guess what? The pickles are generous. Nick is here eating on his cold slices that he heated up for 10 seconds. I'm about to get on Fortnite, but first grab my plate so I can play. And I need to pick up my medication from the store or I'll go with Nick or something because I want some Gatorade too a little bit. I like Gatorade. As for me, I have thrown up once or twice. Maybe three times this week so far, but it's really not that bad in comparison to last week. Anything is better than last week, so I'm feeling good. I am going off this momentum of good energy, and you know, I'll, I get to see the twins again on the 4th. It's the 1st. No, it's 30th. It's the 30th, and I get to see the twins at the twin specialist in just a couple of days so we can make sure everything's going okay with them. And I think get our genetic testing back, but I'm not really completely sure. We might have to wait a couple more days for that. But yeah, it's Fortnite time and pizza time. Pizza time. Hey, Pickles. Back at it again. Um, today is Thursday, 9.35 at night. I fell asleep. I don't even know what time I fell asleep. You could hear the nasalness in my voice. I'm realizing <laughs> I'm not sick with the flu anymore, I wouldn't say, because I can breathe through my nose and I don't feel very congested, but because I'm pregnant, I've been I've been suffering from over nasal congestion, so even when I haven't been sick, I've been feeling very nasally and I've had to cough and spit a lot and it's like very gross. I'm hoping that this symptom calms down soon, but I mean, it's definitely better than throwing up all the time and it's definitely better than being sick with the flu, so I'm dealing with it. Obviously, Nick and I are laying in the bed right now. He was just watching uh, Naked and Afraid while I was asleep. We, I woke up, watched a little bit with him, and then I started watching more uh, twin vlogs about like twin pregnancy and stuff. This woman, when she found out she was pregnant, she was like my size, and then she like doubled, like almost tripled in size by the time she went to labor and delivery. And the reason I noticed it was weird is because I first watched her three-part labor and delivery vlogs um Veronica Luke on YouTube and then I went back and looked at oh I just found out I was pregnant vlog and she was so tiny and I'm like wow these twins are gonna freaking blow me up like a balloon and then I watched one of her postpartum vlogs and she was talking about how she's still trying to get to her goal weight and uh currently her twins were born like I think five years ago but I'm just watching her vlogs now or whatever she recently also just had another baby a daughter so she's a family of five now like we're about to be but her, she did it in reverse. She had twins first and then a daughter. We have a daughter and we're having twins. So, you know, it's always fun to watch relatable content creators. You know, those of you guys who want a family life or want to center your life around family are probably watching my vlogs or whatever because I center my life around family. Like family for me comes first and then work. But if I need to work to make sure my family is good, I will do that. But that's just because I put my family first. I don't want to have to work so much overtime that oh the money's stacking in the bank but like i'm missing those valuable hours with nick where our couple and relationship needs to progress or missing that valuable time with my two-year-old in which i'm missing her milestones and too tired to play with her and stuff i'd rather play with my daughter be with my husband and you know i don't want to say scrape the bottom of the barrel but you know i'd rather be check to check dealing 
with that than like my daughter feeling emotionally neglected when she grows up and can actually comprehend these memories. So, <coughs> all that you hear, that's just the nasaliness of being pregnant. I think it's twice as bad uh, than it was with Jasmine because of the twins. Because I don't remember being this nasally when I was pregnant with Jasmine. And I had COVID twice when I was pregnant with her. So it's funny that I feel worse with the twins. Um, sometimes I have a bump. Sometimes I don't. Uh, it just depends on, you know, if I eat. It depends on how I sleep. Uh, the twins are rapidly growing every single day. I can feel it and it can see it. And um, I'm tracking myself on my pregnancy apps such as flow and um, what to expect. There's a lot of forums on there and just helpful information to help you get through the pregnancy. And then everybody knows that the first trimester is depressing. Everybody knows that the first trimester is hard. Everybody knows the first trimester is H-E double hockey sticks. So we are just trying to get through it. It seems like I'm out of the thick of it. Nick's like, every time you say that, you, you start feeling worse. So I'm trying not to say specific things, but it seems like I'm feeling a lot better. Long story short with me feeling better. I am 12 weeks and going on five days in a couple hours because as soon as it hits midnight, I'll be on my fifth day. So that means I'm about to be 13 weeks. And on my 13th week and one day, I'm going to the doctor to check that the twins are okay and seeing a twin specialist over by the hospital instead of going to my normal OBGYN, which is five minutes away. But I think the twins are fine. They haven't given me any cramps, any bleeding or anything like I felt them growing in the night and I felt them making me uncomfortable but nothing miscarriage-like, nothing alarming. So I'll be very surprised if something's wrong, but I should also hear if the twins have any abnormalities and stuff, which I don't think they do. They feel pretty good to me, and I usually have a mom's intuition about the sort of thing. I had an intuition I was having twins. Just from the second I got pregnant, my symptoms started feeling horrible. And I was watching some twin vloggers, twin YouTubers, twin pregnancy vlogs, and Nick was like, why are you watching those? You're gonna jinx us. You know, don't watch those. We don't have twins. And I'm like, I'm watching them just in case. Like, imagine we do find out we're pregnant with twins. At least I will have watched a video or two to have mentally prepared myself. But if I don't, then I'm just banking on and gaming on the fact that it's one. And it ended up being two. So a little bit of it, I told you so. A little bit of it, I told you so. A little bit of it. Anyways, everything has been going good with the pregnancy. Um, the doctors actually say that it's good to be throwing up. That signs that the HCG levels are rising appropriately. The progesterone, blah, 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 doctor stuff. So um, if anybody else is pregnant in solidarity with me, hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're excited and ready to meet your baby, your little bundle. I'm ready to meet my bundles of joy. The only bundles I got. I'm sure some of y'all would prefer I put bundles in my hair, but <laughs> no. Um, I have considered taking my afro out. However, it is high maintenance, so it's just like wrapping my head around that. Um, also keeping it moisturized, blah, blah, blah. So that's just something I don't necessarily want to do, but I've been considering it. Just let my hair go free um, since it's growing really fast. But then I also fear it will be getting tangled easier. I mean, I can definitely put my hair up in the night and stuff, but I don't want to like be so tired that I forget or anything like that. This is basically my version of Sid's Corner, but in the bed, because I'm due to go uh, live stream in a little bit, but I didn't get this vlog finished up, so I just wanted to finish up talking to you guys about my day, wanted to finish up, um, you know, letting you know how the pregnancy's been going. I'm definitely starting to show. Every day I get a little bit thicker, a little bit rounder. If I suck in, my gut falls out, so it's kind of funny. Um, it, it's majority bloat, majority bloating, bloating bloating but i know the twins are getting bigger they're like soon to be two and a half inches each so five inches total and about the size of two lemons so imagine two lemons in my stomach i am sitting here with a tiny little bump you can kind of see it that was me the babies aren't kicking that's me but um very tiny bump i i'm hungry so that's why it looks so tiny when deflated once i eat it'll like phew. But yeah, guys, I have been just trying to get through this pregnancy. Um, I've definitely stiff-armed work while I haven't been feeling good. As long as you guys are watching the vlogs, you know that I'm mentally with y'all. I'm emotionally with y'all. I just can't physically be with y'all all the time. I'm going live to get back in the grind of things because this December, I want to do a lot better with my vlo uh, vlogging and um, posting my ASMR as well as going into my live streams again because November has just been a heck of a month. Like, I think this has been my worst month ever, pregnancy-wise, to date. Because I had nine whole months of pregnancy with Jasmine, same time of year. 
and then I'm going through this time of year. So we will see. Um, I'm watch. I've seen a couple of vlogs about twin births come like pre preterm labor and stuff starting around 33 weeks, 35 weeks. So I'm mentally also preparing. I could go into labor early around April, but if the babies make it full term, they will be made in May. Um, but they could even come earlier than April if there's complications or if the babies are in the wrong position in my stomach and whatnot. So there's a couple of things that are worrisome, but I do believe that God will provide. We are going to be fine. I really don't have any, like if I had concerns and my mother's intuition was like heightened, I'd be worried, but I'm not like, I genuinely feel as good as I felt when Jasmine was conceived and I had been planning Jasmine for like 10 years prior to even meeting Nick. So he just went along with the plan and was a good sperm donor and he stuck along for the ride. And he's giving me hater eyes, so I'm going to get him off the screen. But hope you pickles are having a great day or night. Thank you so much for tuning in with me in these vlogs and making sure you guys um, stay updated with me. Because obviously I can't just do ASMR every single day. <laughs> but if you got this far in the vlog, I want you to know that my vlogs are moving over to my second channel. Um, I will be posting them still on this channel probably for the next two months and doing double uploads. Just so I can play catch up with getting all my vlogs onto that other channel. But I do plan to spend this month of December putting all 150 vlogs on my second channel and then beginning to update and upload those on there consistently. So if you guys want to keep following my vlogs, make sure you subscribe to the second channel. The link's in the bio. And if you didn't notice, if you didn't notice, I did revamp my channel a little bit. You may see a new profile picture. Check my second channel. You may see a couple of new things over there. I'm doing a little bit of rebranding, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nick and I are turning my second channel into more of like a family channel, vlog channel to dedicate to my content over there. And then this will just be strictly ASMR for now. Um, we will see how that goes. Um, my goal is to post vlogs on this channel for two more months and then have them completely transition over. <sighs> but I'm waiting uh, for my other channel to finish monetization processing. So without further ado, um, I need to continue staying hydrated. My um, urine color has like fluctuated over the past couple of days, but I've been able to eat, I've been able to drink and um, take my prenatal and stuff without throwing up. So that has been amazing. Y'all have no idea what it's like, or some of you may have an idea of what it's like, but if you don't have any idea what it's like to like throw up every time you eat or look at food or drink some water, it's actual torture. It's like being waterboarded. <laughs> Um, I've never been waterboarded, so hopefully that's an accurate example. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. I will follow up with y'all on Saturday and Sunday. I'm very excited, and I'm still thinking maybe I'll turn Saturday, Sunday into just weekend vlogs instead of two vlogs. A weekend, a big weekend vlog instead of two vlogs. Still thinking about it. Don't know yet. Not making any rash decisions. But uh, yeah, just stay tuned, guys. I will keep y'all updated. But remember, go check out Sajadi's family vlogs that is my second channel link in the bio go check it out check it out you know you want to <laughs>